Hello! You don't know what this is. We don't either. Seriously, we have no idea what we're doing anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we're here today to talk about the Doom series and what we think about the uh, older Doom games versus the new Doom game. Although, again, new in quotes because the game's nearly... I don't know, it's pretty old. It's not... It's old in game terms, practically. Like, wow, is that really how fast people age games? Yeah. Then what the heck is Daggerfall? It's a dead body. In what's, a... Then what's what, what's Pong? It's, it's <laughs> air. It's like just no, it's dirt. It's, it's like, decomposed it, into dirt. It is earth. No, <laughs> it's the foundation stones, Dave. Uh. <laughs> anyway, um, so what, why don't you start off? You can do it. I have faith in you. Not really. I was gonna say you've misplaced faith. So yeah, we're we're comparing this new game. Quote unquote, apparently. Uh, so the older ones, we're not counting Doom 3, for obvious reasons, and we'll discuss that maybe in another video. Mm -hmm. And we're not even sure what to call this new Doom. Doom 4? I, I refer to Doom it Reborn? Doom, Doom 4. Doom 4. We'll call it Doom 4. Doom 4. Uh, because Dave's recently played the original Dooms. Uh, yeah, I played through all of Doom 1, first time in my life. And he's uh, suffering ultra, through Doom 2. Ultra Violence, and Doom 2 is his other BS. Uh, like, seriously, I'm playing through Doom 2 on Ultra Violence. Probably shouldn't have done that. Cause shouldn't have given it the peer pressure, Dave. Well, I, Doom 1, honestly, on Ultra Violence wasn't that hard. I didn't die very much at all. And Doom 2 is just like, nope. Doom uh, 2 is a slaughter fest. Yeah, Doom 2 is awful. Anyway. It's Arc Files, man. It's not, it's the absurd amount of enemies on the map. That's the story. Did you just imagine the whole map of Arc Files? I, imagine play, I can imagine not playing that level. And they keep resurrecting each other. <laughs> There's no end to it, Dave. Uh, yeah, I can imagine never ever playing that. Oh, just screw it. I'm not playing that game. Just, nope. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to do that now. We're off topic, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yes, you, you play the older one, so you know what that's like. And uh, you've played more of the newer one than I have. I have played some of it. I just haven't had time because it's a bit of work. I think, compared to the old ones, it's pretty darn good, Dave. Uh, yeah, and many you know, like it's not casualized, which I, I never thought it would be, just because I even though it, it's made by a different company, I you know I, I know what the Wolfenstein: The New Order was like, and that wasn't casualized. So I, I kind of had like yeah, this is just going to be from what I heard people say, this is just going to be a Doom game with nicer graphics. See, I, I I'm the pessimist in this group, so group, <laughs> group. <laughs> two people in this channel. Uh, <laughs> I'm the pessimist with this channel. I thought it was going to suck. I thought it would be way too easy. Oh, I was wrong. Yes, and I am so glad that I was so wrong. Uh, Difficulty-wise, it rated somewhere between Doom 1. It's it's harder than Doom 1, but... Wait, no, no. It's harder... No, how is it? It's harder than Doom 1, but not as hard as Doom 2. See, for me, Doom 1 and 2 are just really easy. you played them a lot. I know. You know but, where all the secrets are on everything. Okay, well, that... That may be, Dave, <laughs> but playing with a controller on Doom 4, because we have it on Xbox, and there's no way our PC is going to run it. Dave My... probably could on the lowest setting. No, I could. I already know the stuff. I could run it fine on Ultra. Let's I'm, see. I'm... You need to buy it for something. But mine couldn't run it. Yeah, you need so new PC. I, I bought it for Gabe for Christmas. That's why I bought it on Xbox One, because I knew his computer wouldn't handle it at all. We'll get to that eventually, fixing those. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, my... Xbox One, see, I play a lot more stuff on the Xbox One, but I still play more on PC. And, um, yeah, the it, I have no problem with it, pretty much. Dave, you're a console peasant now. Like, 20% of my playtime is on Dave, Xbox, man. It's okay. I, I'm also a console peasant. It's all right. <laughs> See, it's not a console peasant. It's that you're a PC master racer, but you have a slave console. Exactly. That's how you so that's what it is. Your console is your slave. That's what you have to say. These diplomatic I'm words. not going to say anything about the color of the Xbox. Anyway, so... I'm going to white one. What the hell are you talking no. about? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's not as hard. The only thing I can say that's more casual, which is stupid to say, is the pistol, beginner pistol, has unlimited ammo. But that's nothing because the chainsaw doesn't. So it's kind of a swap. Because the old chainsaw was, you know... Infinite ammo, and it killed mm. things pretty quick, but weaker things. Yeah, the uh, the new chainsaw in Doom 4 does not have unlimited ammo. It's, uh, you have to find gas for it, and, see, the thing is, it, like, if you're down to the pistol and chainsaw, like, if you're down at all the ammo, the chainsaw, when you get a kill, kind of like when you get a uh, brutal kill, or whatever the hell they call it, I already forget, action kill, or, I can't remember. 
remember. Anyway, uh, if you get an action kill with the chainsaw, it fully or pretty much fully regenerates all your. It drops a ton of ammo. Yeah, it gives you all your ammunition that you need to continue on without having to use the chainsaw. And it uses up all the fuel, right? Uh, well, it, it depends. Like, um, Hell, Hell Knights. Or not Hell Knights. Like Glory Kills, Dave. Glory Kills. Uh, like, yeah, certain. Like, Revenants take three fuel. Like, Imps, one fuel. Uh, Hell Knights take five. This is just a weird way <laughs> they how things are going. This takes this many fuel. Uh, actually, why am I not, not. One of the smaller things, not the Hell Knights. Uh. Barons of Hell? Barons of Hell. Yeah, those. Yeah, Barons those aren't small, Dave. Wait, oh, oh, wait. I know most things compared to you are short. What was the thing I fought for the first time earlier yesterday? Was that a Hell Knight or Baron of Hell? I always get confused. You fought a Baron of Hell for the first time yesterday and a Cacodemon. I tried the Cacodemon and a Pinky. The Pinkies are different. I, I, they're better than the Pinkies in Doom 3. Those were basically... I thought we said we weren't going to talk about those, Dave. Yeah, I know. I know. So yeah, Doom, Doom 4 overall, I really like it. It's better than Doom 3, obviously, in like literally every respect. It, it restores what little faith I had in the gaming world, which isn't much at this point. Surprisingly. Um, restored anything? Wow. Uh, no. Well, I had this little glimmer of hope that indie gamers would make decent games from now on. But now I have the slight hope that ID will actually make some more decent games. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, I want to talk about the secrets really quick, because the secrets... Are another thing that are very okay. I, mean, I thought they could have been a little bit better in Doom. I myself or... am not a fan of them. They're hidden really well, though. I like that aspect. They mm -hmm. are hidden very well. Um, I just don't like the fact that you know they're not the same. Some of them are, but they're not the same as in Doom One, where suddenly a wall could open up. Well, it's I actually don't different. have a problem with that. that. That's something I don't care about. It's the stuff that's in the secret. Oh, see, um, me, it's just nostalgia. I, I want to feel that opening up a wall again. But then again... Maybe there's can, something like that. I don't know. Maybe sometimes you shoot a wall say, by yeah, Then again, there could be open. that somewhere. We haven't found it yet. Um, I could be wrong. See, so yeah, there's there's three types of secrets. There's the secrets that you just kind of, like, stumble on into and have, like, kind of, like, normal -ish stuff in them. Those are the majority. But then you've got uh, bobbleheads. Which are Do Doom Guy bobbleheads, which are really awesome. I love those. Mm -hmm. Play a little. They, every time you pick one up, it plays a little bit of like the original Doom mu music. Back one, episode one. Mm. And so that's really awesome. But then it also they also have these secrets that usually have to be opened with buttons or switches, that open up actually like part of a uh, part of the original like, Doom one map. It, and but the only problem I have with that is it does use the original sprites for like the ammo and stuff but the enemies are the new enemies they had it they missed the opportunity there they may they may come to that opportunity. we don't know if they're just having issues coding that maybe they will Who i knows? don't i don't think they're gonna do anything with that at this point but you never know yeah you never know because there's that arcade mode they may go classic arcade mode who knows that'd be hilarious but there's also the uh ability to play through the original doom on those maps so you unlock them all yeah you have to find all of them though mm -hmm. before you can do that um or, well, it's not necessarily it's the same as playing through the original Doom. You're playing through the maps. It's, it's yeah. not quite... You know what we mean. And um, hey, let's just talk about it really quick. It has, besides the Doom 4 single-player campaign, there's also multiplayer, multiplayer, arcade, and Snapchat. Snapchat? Snapchat. Snap map. <laughs> and... God, Snapchat. Ugh. Don't give them ideas, Dave. Uh, really quickly, I really like the multiplayer. Um, a lot of people don't like it at all. I just enjoy it. I don't play a whole lot of... Well... I play Overwatch a lot now, <laughs> but before I didn't really play a whole lot of um, multiplayer first-person shooters, so it just was refreshing. Um, and then the arcade mode, it just kind of pits you away, pits you up against a bunch of different waves, and you which get, is fun. Which is fun, and you get you every time you get a glory kill or just a kill, or the longer you last, it gives you points, and then it gives you a scoreboard, and then you can brag to your friends about how much better you are than them until you realize that the scoreboard just got updated and they're all above you now. So, uh, yeah, it's it's really fun that way, and then also the last uh, Snap Map, which is trying to bring mo basic modding to console, basically. And I like the new Snap Map feature, because it wasn't in the original Dooms. Doom, or the Ultimate Doom and Doom 2 Hell on Earth, neither one of those had an in-game built-in uh, ability to make maps, and that's the majority of the Doom mods is maps. So, you can mod it just like in the good old days, only you don't need an external program. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um... Like I said before, though, is I'm I'm little like for fully original. I feel like this Doom will probably be the least outside modded thing. Well, I'm not saying there isn't any mods for it that aren't a part of Snap Snap, but like I I, I feel like it might be um, there's gonna be way less mods for this just because it's 3D. I'm not sure how many of the people in the original Doom fan base who are still making tons of mods 
do you want to go back and make, or you want to go forward and make mods for this? I don't know. I, so I, I, who knows how the modding community is going to be for this? Well, but. I think you're right on that aspect of being mostly maps. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be written out stories too, or something like that that's thrown in there. Mm -hmm. But the majority of mods for Doom Two were things like, uh, or in, and the Ultimate Doom were things like Sergeant Mark's Brutal Doom, which allowed you to do what you do now in Doom, which is the glory kills when I get health. And there were some higher resolution and 3D models thrown in there because of GZ Doom mm -hmm. could support it. Other than that, a lot of it was just story-based maps. There were some new weapons added by a few mods. There mm -hmm. were the Christmas mods, obviously. Which I I really hope that they throw something like that in there. Because, mm -hmm. you know, back in the old DOS games, like Tyrion 2000, you could get a Christmas mode during this time of the year. I really want to see that, like an imp running around with a Santa hat on in Doom 4. I, I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure modding will eventually hit it. I don't know, because... I... Like, I don't know how would it take it, how easy is it to mod? I don't know. Yeah, because I don't think it's based on the same WAD files. No. Uh, <laughs> so. just, something tells me that it's not the case. So yeah, I would like to know like the how the engine works. Like how is it very easily modded besides the snap map? Like what what I should look into this. I don't know um, because yeah, I feel like probably the modding community isn't going to be as active, or if maybe, maybe it's like really impossible to mod. So maybe it given won't be that at Bethesda all. published it. You know, obviously they haven't had real hand, quote unquote, in it, but they're there. They're kind of like that looming dark cloud over the horizon for everybody. You know, they may eventually have ID Software release something like they do for the Elder Scrolls, a which is a kit. creation kit. So that might be coming. Hmm, I have to look into some things because yeah, I, I was thinking like full, like full conversion mods for Doom Four, like new you know people could make new a a um, npcs and stuff but we'll also have to see like full new campaigns right and you know to get an idea about that we could look into some doom 3 and see what they've done because i know there have been some tweaks to doom 3 there's a flashlight mod and whatnot you need that yeah oh yeah i, I wouldn't be playing doom 3 if i didn't have it so. we, we, we just need to make a doom 3 video and talk about it already dave we need to let it out uh anyway uh how much more longer do you want to go um, well, I was just say that's pretty much what I think of it. I think it's really good. Well, a little bit I've been able to play, and I've watched Dave after I get home from work while I'm eating dinner, so that's always fun. But from what little bit I've been able to play and see, it looks really good, and it feels good, and it is not casualized, like Dave said. It's not hand holy. It's easy. I didn't say it was casualized. I said it's not casualized, like Dave said. Oh, okay. I was agreeing with you, Dave. It sounded like you said it's ca casualized, like Dave said. <laughs> Like, what? No. I, I'm coming down with a cold, so it may have sounded like that. What are your final thoughts on it, Dave? It's really good, and uh, there's a reason it won Best Action Game and Best Soundtrack of 2016. Oh, the soundtrack is amazing. For all you out there who own the Ultimate Doom and Doom 2, and even the Master Levels of Doom, uh, go get the metal track that's supposed to go with Brutal Doom and play that when you're playing the game. It's so good. And uh, okay. also, if you're on Spotify, you can go look up Doom soundtrack, and there's, there's that too. There's the you know Doom Four soundtrack on Spotify in order because there's actually um, like I think it's called or like, I have Spotify open. No, I don't. Uh, I'll open Spotify. Spotify. Hopefully, it doesn't play any music in the background. It should. Um, Although you you'll probably be listening to Doom music while watching this because there'll be Doom music in the background, not of the new one. Anyway. The old one. Um, yeah. See, there's these things called. One dogma. It's actually like a demon talking, right? And it goes through, so they kind of like they're they're there like in order. List. Or if you want to be real fancy, Dave, I need you. I need to get this for you. Is the original Quake soundtrack to play during Quake? It makes it so much better. Okay. You could do that through this as well, and you'd probably enjoy it. Nine Inch Nails, man. They they got a shout out in the Ultimate Doom Chapter Four. That's right. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching this, and uh, yeah. If we haven't offended you yet, we will get to you. Just take a ticket. We'll be back. <laughs> take a number. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.